Welcome back to another episode of Talks with Froggy. I'm Harrison, and I'm joined by all, as always, by my good friend and your good friend, Froggy the Gator. Froggy, how are you feeling today? Oh man, I am feeling great. Not only is it a beautiful day outside, and I've had a bunch of fun times with my friends in Gator Grove recently, but I'm feeling great because today, you and me are going to talk about one of my all-time favorite subjects. Oh, okay, is that right? Well, I think I have an idea of what we're going to talk about, but why don't you tell me and all of our viewers at home what we're going to discuss today, Froggy? Gladly. I will gladly do that. Because today we're talking about something I love so much, something I can't stop thinking and learning about, and that is the solar system. That's right, Froggy, you're right. Yeah, so today we're talking about the solar system. And Froggy, why don't you get us started by telling us what the solar system actually is? With pleasure, Harrison. So the solar system is kind of like our neighborhood in outer space. Everybody watching this knows about the sun, which is the center of our solar system, and the sun is so big that it has a lot of gravity, which pulls in what we call planets to orbit around it, which basically means they go in a circle around our sun. That's right, Froggy. And so, so we have these things called planets. How many planets are there in our solar system exactly? Well, it's funny you should ask, because Astronomers currently say there are eight planets, but that's because our friend Pluto actually got downgraded to what's called a dwarf planet a few years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. Uh, when I was a kid, Pluto was considered a regular planet, but now, now it's just it's not anymore. I guess that's how it goes. So, Froggy, why don't you talk us through each of the eight planets that are in our solar system? Well, I would be glad to, of course. And we should probably start with the sun, since that's what's at the middle of all this. And probably the most interesting thing about the sun is just how big it is. In fact, it's so big that over 1.3 million Earths could fit inside of it. Wow. 1.3 million Earths could fit inside the sun? That's, that's something else, Froggy. So, so what comes next after the sun? After the sun, we have our first planet, and it's called Mercury. And Mercury is interesting because it doesn't actually have an atmosphere, like we do on Earth, that retains heat. So the temperature on Mercury varies wildly. It can get anywhere from negative 300 degrees Fahrenheit at night, all the way up to 430 degrees Fahrenheit during the day. And it's safe to say we wouldn't do too well on Mercury with those kinds of wild temperature swings. Yeah, I'd agree. That, that sounds like a bit much. So, so what planet comes next after Mercury? After Mercury, we have Venus. And Venus is even hotter than Mercury, even though it's farther away from the sun, because it has a huge atmosphere, even bigger than Earth's, which traps heat from the nearby sun, so it gets all the way up to 900 degrees. And that's like twice as hot as an oven needs to be to bake a pizza. Wow. I, I wouldn't want to be trapped there. That does sound incredibly hot. So what planet comes after Venus, Froggy? After Venus is my favorite planet, of course, and that is Earth. And we all know about Earth. It's amazing. It's just the right temperature for us with lots of oceans and water and land and animals. And really, there's nowhere else I would rather live. And me either, Froggy. So, so what comes after Earth? I think that there's a pretty famous one that comes next, right? That's right, Harrison. After Earth comes Mars. And most scientists think Mars is the planet that's most like Earth. But a lot of people don't know that it actually has a huge volcano on it. The biggest volcano in our solar system, in fact, it's over 13 miles high. That's like a half marathon all the way up to the top of the volcano. Whoa, 13 miles? That's enormous, Froggy. So, so what comes after Mars in our solar system? After Mars, we have the asteroid belt, of course, and then we have a series of planets called the gas giants. And the first gas giant is Jupiter. It's the largest planet in our solar system, 
and it's famous for this big red spot on it, which you can see here, which is actually a huge thunderstorm type thing that has been going constantly for over 400 years. 400 years, whew. That's like, that's like all the way back to colonial times in the US is when the storm started. So what comes after Jupiter, Froggy? After Jupiter, we have Saturn, another really famous planet. And I think the reason people like Saturn so much is because of all these rings it has around it, as you can see here. And the rings are made up of ice and rocks and dust particles, but from a distance, and thanks to gravity, they look like one solid ring around the planet. That, that is just so interesting, Froggy. I can see why you like space so much. So, what comes after Saturn in our solar system? Well, after Saturn, we have a planet called Uranus. And Uranus is the only planet in our solar system that rotates on its side. Basically the opposite of the other planets that rotate kind of around the middle. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, that's interesting. That's fascinating. And, and what's next? I think we should have one more planet, right? Since, since we aren't counting Pluto. That's right. Our last planet in our solar system is called Neptune. And Neptune is really, really, really far away from the sun. It takes over 160 years for Neptune to get all the way around the sun, whereas it takes Earth, well, one year. And Neptune is famous for its wind, which can get up to 1,200 miles per hour. That's like six times faster than a NASCAR race car, if you believe it or not. That's incredible, Froggy. Well, what a day today has been learning about all of these planets. Thanks for sharing all of this with us. And remember, kids, if you want more shows like this one, make sure you get your parents' permission to subscribe to our channel and click like on the video. Until next time, see you later from Froggy the Gator.